Hi, I'm Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides. I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it was like to be there. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out and it's sweetened with stevia. Last week we talked about the very reasonably priced Disney River Cruises. Link is in the description below and if you didn't hear the sarcasm in my voice, let me just say $9,000 for one cabin on a cruise is not reasonably priced, if you ask me. And today I'm going to be giving you my review about flying with Emirates Airlines. Last April we flew to Dubai and back on Emirates and I want to tell you about um, the cabin amenities, the entertainment, and especially the food. And for all the people who just can't wait until the end to hear my summary, I'll just say it right now, it was fantastic. And I'm not being sarcastic there. We were on a 777-300, or do you say 777-300? My first impression while boarding the plane was, wow, this looks pretty nice. The flight attendants were all styled perfectly, I mean like, like models. There was this nice, ambient music playing in the cabin and when we got to our seats there's this like little I don't know like welcome packet with the blanket and then uh, the robust on-ear headphones and then there's like stickers in there so you can put it on your seat to let the flight attendants know if they should wake you up for drinks dinner or duty-free I think it was I still have those stickers someplace anyways shortly after we got in the air we got uh, like an aromatherapy washcloth and I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten something like this on any flight and the last time I got it I'm sure it wasn't like a real cloth it was more like a wet wipe but on Emirates it's like like a real cloth just one of the many just really fancy little things that made Emirates a really great experience The entertainment system on board is without a doubt the most extensive entertainment system I've had on any flight I've ever been on including first class on Delta which when I think back now the all-in-all -all experience compared to Delta first class was kind of a joke meaning the Delta was a joke that's how good Emirates was yes these gigantic touch screens were what was offered in economy class on Emirates and there were literally hundreds of movies and television series you could watch so it was basically like having Netflix on the flight. I mean that's what it was like and it made the time go by so fast and I loved it. Oh before we get to the food I wanted to show you the cool mood lighting that they do. If you have a night flight they dim the lights in the cabin and then in the uh, ceiling stars like magically appear and glimmer and I just thought that was a really nice extra touch. It's something sort of magical and it reminded me of theming so I loved it and uh, like I said just another one of those fancy little touches that made it so great. Okay now let's talk about the food. Once again the best airline cuisine of any flight ever including Delta first class. I feel like I should make another video about that terrible Delta first class flight. If you want to see it remind me in the comments below. Anyways back to the food. There was like a full-on paper menu with multiple choices for you and if you're a vegetarian or have like a special diet request you can log into the website and there's like a dedicated uh, site where you can go through like a full menu and pick out more or less exactly what you want to order for the flight which is what I did because you all know I'm a picky eater. Normal people get the menu and you can pick from several different options and there was just like high quality snacks with dips and high quality spirits and wines. I ordered a gin tonic and automatically got a double and there ain't nothing wrong with that. This is some of the vegetarian food and the non-vegetarian food that we got on our flights there and back and while you're drooling over this tasty goodness might I suggest you follow the very unofficial travel guides on Facebook. 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 I post other travel related news there and every Friday is food and drink Friday where we talk about food from different travel destinations or flights and theme parks and stuff like that. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All in all, I was extremely impressed by Emirate Airlines and if when I'm planning any travel in the future I see there's an option to fly Emirates there, I would be willing to spend a little bit more money 
to make sure I landed on an Emirate flight. That's how fantastic I thought it was. It's definitely worth it, and I know that if you appreciate uh, great service, fantastic food, and just an all-in-all -all good travel experience, I know that you'll like Emirates as well, so I can only recommend it. If you've watched until now, thanks for sticking around to the end. Add the secret word Piri Piri to your uh, comment below so I know that you made it. And I will see you guys all next week for another fun travel-related video. Bye-bye.